Hey guys, James Grandstaff here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna answer a question that came in from a subscriber, and they wanted to know how a beginner with a new pixel can run ads for conversion purchase. Okay, this is for Facebook. So there's kind of the long answer and the short answer. The short answer is you just select purchase and then optimize for conversions, right, in the ad set level. The long answer is, and I think, especially if you're new, that you should probably understand the way that Facebook segments our audiences or the audiences that we select. So to keep it really simple, there's basically, Facebook kind of categorizes all of, all of its users into three buckets. We have a bucket of people who will engage with a post, right? They'll click like, they'll comment, they'll share a post. So those are like the page post engagement audience. Then we have people that will click like, I'm sorry, that will... Um, uh, click through to a website and view a page or view a product. So those would be, you'd reach those people with the traffic uh, objective or, or website clicks. And, and then finally, basically the other bucket is purchases, people who will take some sort of action on Facebook, whether that be fill out an email form, uh, become a lead, or even make a purchase, right? Facebook keeps track of all this data on us. So depending on who we wanna reach and what our goal is, um, those are really the three buckets. So I'm gonna jump over to the ads manager here and kind of show you how to reach each one of those audiences based on the objective that you select. So if you just want people, if you just want traffic to your website, you're just gonna select traffic. Doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get people buying anything because these people may or may not have actually purchased things from a Facebook ad before. Uh, engagement, if you want people to click like on your post, um, uh, share your post, comment, you'd wanna do engagement. You're also gonna get a different you know, reach when you select engagement versus traffic. And then finally, conversions. I know there's these other ones here, but I'm not gonna talk about those for now. Uh, conversions, so basically this group of people are the people who take action on Facebook. They either make a purchase, they become an email lead, they, they do something outside of Facebook on a third party website, and Facebook tracks all of this through the pixel. So. Another really important piece to understand when you're selecting these different options here, and I'm just gonna go over this really quickly. If you select conversions, right, a lot of people think that if the audience that they're going after is like one million people, right, there's a million people in the audience that you've defined, and you select conversions. Well, what happens is within that million person audience, Facebook may have only determined that there's 100,000, so 10% of that audience are actually people who have actually taken action and purchased or became a lead or taken some kind of action on a third-party site. So even though your audience says 1 million, you're really only gonna reach a small portion of that audience when you select conversions. When you select engagement, you're also gonna reach a small audience, but it will be a different audience within that same target audience that you've selected. I know it gets kind of confusing. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind when you start any of these campaigns and you start to see the results maybe kind of tinker off after a while, you'll see them drop off at the very beginning of a conversions campaign. You'll have really great results. You'll get really great return on your investment uh, or ROAS, return on ad spend, and everything's looking great. And then a week later, it's like, oh, it just died. It happens a lot. And that's because Facebook has determined that that the, the, the buyers, right, they put your ad in front of the buyers first, and then eventually after they get through that tier A buyer, then they start showing the ad to the tier B, tier C, and, and so on, and then your CPA goes up. The cost per acquisition goes up. So fixing that is a whole other, is a whole other uh, video or a whole other conversation, um, but that just kind of gives you the idea of how Facebook segments audiences based on what you're trying to accomplish. So based on whatever your marketing objective is, um, Facebook categorizes people. So to do conversions specifically for purchase, if you go over to the ad set level, they're going to allow you to select, when you select conversion, they're gonna allow you to click right here and optimize for a certain event. So if you wanted to do purchase, you would select purchase. And then down here at the bottom, you can optimize for ad delivery. By default, it goes to conversions. But if you read right here, this is for the lower funnel. So uh, if you've had at least 25 conversions in the past week on that pixel, then you can start right here. If not, you might want to try something different, whether it be link clicks or landing page views 
um, something like that. I usually go for conversions no matter what. And if you have a good ad that converts, it's going to work even if your pixel isn't seasoned. Well, that will be a way to season it, right? If you have a good ad that's converting and you're getting purchases, well, 25 purchases later, your pixel is good to go. And you can then just, then Facebook will start to optimize and show your ads to more people that are likely to convert for conversion. I know that's kind of a lot of information in a short period of time, but um, that's really the, the gist of optimizing for purchase. So make sure you have already some, you know, the pixel is seasoned, select purchase, come down here, select conversion, test different ad copy if, you know, if you're not getting the results you want. Um, but yeah, just understand that what happens here is uh, Facebook will just show your ads to different people depending on what you've selected here. Um, so that's really it. If you have any other questions, leave a comment below and um, yeah, or just in general, you know what, I actually kind of, this is kind of cool where I can just kind of answer questions. So if you have any questions and you want me to make a video uh, covering a different topic, just leave a comment and in the next video, I will uh, pick one and make that video. So that's it for this one and I'll see you next time.